Foreigners are able to live frugally in Cambodia on as little as $700 a month. I know this sounds surprising, but if you live a quiet lifestyle, you will find that prices are really low. However, at the other end of the scale, the cost of living in Cambodia can be as high as $2,000 a month. So this is an ideal budget for those who want to live in the capital or really want to live life or retirement to the fullest while in Cambodia. But $1,200 a month is a great average. And a budget of $1,400 to $1,500 a month is good if you wish to add some added extras such as insurances. If you are a regular viewer of Isle of Asia, you'll know that when it comes to the cost of living, the lifestyle and the location are two of the biggest factors. So you may be wondering which budget is right for me and how can I calculate the costs? So let's take a look at the most important points. The first thing to note is that there are some beautiful apartments and places to stay in Cambodia. So as we can see here, this is my actual apartment. I'm very lucky because the place is in the heart of the city centre. The total cost? $200 a month. Wi-Fi is included, so the only other costs are the utilities, which come to around $50 to $60, $70 a month on average, but this will depend on your location and usage. Are you a coffee lover? Well, the cheapest coffee I found was under a dollar, which is amazing, but on average it tends to be a few dollars per cup. Food at a small local restaurant goes for around three to four dollars a plate. But what about the food prices in Cambodia versus other neighboring countries? Well, in comparison, prices are more expensive than Thailand, and this is because you will often get much more food in Thailand for the same amount of money. I've noticed that many food establishments in Cambodia tend to be slightly tight when it comes to food portions, but I do acknowledge that this may simply be the selective number of restaurants that I tend to eat at, but I believe it's worth mentioning. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, I would budget anywhere between $200 to $400 a month for food and drink. But this doesn't include alcoholic drinks, which are pretty cheap to be honest with you, and you can pick up a small beer for around a dollar or less than a dollar in most supermarkets. In Cambodia, there are a few modes of transportation. Bicycles are popular and you can pick up a used bike for around $70 or a brand new top of the range mountain bike for around $300. Alternatively, you can also rent a motorcycle. Prices for a small bike will cost around $70 to $80 a month and a big bike will cost around $130 a month. Both bicycles and motorbikes can be rented daily. Bicycles can be rented for around $5 a day and motorbikes can be rented for around $10 to $15 a day. But prices do fluctuate and negotiation is possible, especially if you're renting long term. If you live in Asia or have lived in Asia previously, you will most likely know about the Grab app. Grab is available in Cambodia and features tuk-tuks, cars, and the ability to hire a driver for the day. So this next section explores the hospital costs, and unfortunately Cambodia does not have the best reputation in terms of healthcare. The price will depend on your level of care, but I found that most of the services were much higher than what I was expecting. From research, an insurance plan package for a family of four will cost around $3,500 a year, and as a single adult, prices range between $80 to $100 
$250, but this will depend on the person and the plan. If you wish to have a full health checkup while living in Cambodia, prices will normally be around $300 to $400 for a standard package. In regards to fitness, you will find plenty of local gyms available for around $1 to $2 a day. More modern gyms cost around $5 a day. Therefore, monthly gym membership ranges between $20 to $60 a month. Laundry costs in Cambodia tend to hover around the $1 per 1 kilogram rule, but slightly higher prices are seen especially around the capital. A tourist visa cost for Cambodia is $30 and it's also another $30 to extend, but it may be as high as $50 or so if you're choosing to use an agency. Without a doubt, Cambodia is one of the cheapest countries to live in Southeast Asia. You can live incredibly well on a very small budget. At the time of recording, the inflation rate is hovering just under 8%. There is a lot to take in when comparing the living experiences, the lifestyle, and even the opportunities for foreigners in Cambodia. This also includes retirement and long-term living, so let me know if you want me to do any additional videos exploring these key points. Thanks.